Hi everybody, in this example I will show you how to use the Auto Layout plugin with a custom paper size and not just A0 or A1 or A2 or A3 etc. So first of all we're going to define the paper size. I'm going to the layout tab, no matter which layout, and hit page setup. Okay, I create new, I give it a name. Normally I will give it the name of the dimension of the desired paper. So for this example, 297 over 1400 millimeter. It's just a name, okay? You can call it whatever you want. You will see later why I give it this number. Okay, then I go to DWG to PDF and properties. This menu will open, this dialog box. I'm going to custom paper size and add. I'll start from scratch and say 297 over 1400. I give it a really low margin of one millimeter and give it a name. And next, finish, okay. And just search for it here. Okay, here it is. 297 over 1400. Okay, sorry, my bad. Now we're going to define the plot area. You will see later why it's so important. I'm going to window, specify first corner 0, comma 0. Specify opposite corner, opposite corner is uh, 1400 over 297. Okay center the plot you can choose your plot style for this example <clears throat> so those settings will be actually for all the layouts you will create automatically with auto layout plugin so let's say i'm finished now ignore the red the frame you probably someone told you this is very important uh, blah 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 but uh, you know click all always here the scale is one to one we're just defining the paper, there's nothing to do with the scale of the of the model, okay? And click OK. So now we have like a page setup with this name as we created, we can close it and go back here <coughs> and play with the auto layout plugin. So I type auto layout and I choose here on page setup the setting that I, I just created. So now assume I have a, a scale of 1000, 1 to 1000. I can draw the frames and you will see how it look like. Of course I can hit the tab, so I can rotate and move it. So it will be something like that. And again, okay. <clears throat> and then I just hit prepare my layouts and you will see it will be just perfect and ready to plot. So prepare my layout. Everything sits on coordinate with the with the north sign uh, as, uh, <coughs> north sign assigned <coughs> and the coordinates on grid. You can see everything is ready. If I plot it to PDF, it's ignore everything. I just click OK. OK. Of course, you can do whatever you want if you need some changes. But I click OK and I have this plot ready in another screen. Okay, it's just ready and fit perfectly. Everything is inside, although you had the red frame, you're probably all very scared of. So, that's the thing. Let's go back here to, to model and see what happened, <clears throat> how the, the frame really adjusts to the different scale. So, again, I type auto layout and I choose a different scale. It's, let's say, one, two. 2500 I give it a name let's say test and a start index one so you will see the the layouts will index as test one test two test three etc I draw the frames you will see how the frame actually changes accordingly to the scale so the plugin does the calculation for you you don't have to be very smart you just need to choose your drawing units and the scale and that's it so I click one two and prepare my layouts and again, everything is ready. What's really important here, you probably noticed if you had a uh, few keys, like um, key maps, like those ones here, you will see that actually the plugin knows how to create only one key map. If you create 
another key map like for different layouts the old key map is isn't valid you will see like a kind of weird thing or you can adjust it manually or just uh, be aware that that's how the plugin works and uh, that's it pretty much hope you enjoyed it you can buy the plugin at keenprojects.com slash shop and uh, I'm sure it will save you tons of time if not just return it to the seller